Hi guys, this is Joey at Mahalo Video Games, and uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm I'm actually uh, doing a little. People seem to enjoy uh, me kind of saying what classes I like to use and what kind of you know what kind of things that I'd use when I play. So what I figured I'd do is I would show you guys uh, another submachine gun class. This is the Spectre. The Spectre is one of the last uh, submachine guns you can uh, reveal, which I went ahead and did. Um, I'm actually using it with rapid fire right now, but I want to talk a little bit about the Spectre here. Uh, the Spectre is down here. The Spectre is a good all-around. Um, it's a good all-around all submachine gun. Obviously, high mobility. All submachine guns have the highest mobility because they are really low weight. But the Spectre has a nice mixture of fire rate, accuracy, range, and damage. The damage is a little bit on the low end. It's higher than the MPL, obviously. Um, uh, it's the same as the M, you know the PM63. It's a little bit better than the Uzi. It is a little worse than the AK74. That's one bad thing about it. The range and the damage are not as high, or excuse me, the accuracy and the damage are not as high as the AK-74. That's a little bit of a problem. Um, on the other hand, the fire rate is higher, which is really nice, and the range is the same. So you essentially trade a little bit of damage and accuracy for your fire rate. And um, yeah, and uh, actually, now that I uh, now that I look at it, um, you know, overall the stats on the AK-74 are better. However, the Spectre, if uh, the Spectre, if you had used the attachments for it, I'm using the rapid fire uh, attachment. It is remarkably good. You can also, unlike the uh, AK-74U, you can add a grip to it, which the submachine guns all have pretty strong kick, um, especially the Spectre. And uh, the kick that it gives is a little—it's a little dangerous. I mean, I think you can. I don't remember if the AK-74 has grip attachment or not. It does, okay. Not a bad thing, but with the AK-74 you really want to have rapid fire in my opinion. Um, anyway, I think the Spectre is a great weapon. I found it to be very useful. Uh, it's got a really fast, obviously, bring up speed. I think that the AK-74U and the Spectre are about even. Um, it just kind of depends on your personal preference, personally. Um, obviously, fire rate means you'll, you'll put more rounds out, which is nice. Uh, the damage and accuracy drop from the AK-74U is, is too bad. But definitely take a look at it if it fits. If you just feel that it works better for you than the AK-74U, don't be afraid to use it. It's really nice. You can either use it with um, rapid fire or you could use it with grip. Um, I haven't used it with grip yet. Obviously, I've just been using rapid fire and I feel it works really well. The one thing about rapid fire is that um, you, have to, you have to really use it in bursts. If you don't use it in bursts, you just start going all over the place and it's just crazy. So real fast bursts with this thing and you will just, if you just do really quick, short, like just tap the trigger, you'll put like five rounds out really fast and uh, you can still train on your target that way and you won't lose it. Um, definitely a good thing to go with. Since it's a submachine gun and I have super fast move speed because of it, using Lightweight Pro and Marathon Pro obviously, uh, I have a Strela 3 attached just for, hey. I'm probably not going to switch away from the Spectre. It's a submachine gun, it's fast, it's got rapid fire. This is built for movement. Uh, the Strailer 3 is to shoot down helicopters or planes. Um, always a good thing to have since I probably won't be trading out weapons. If I were using a sniper rifle or a heavy machine gun, yeah, I'd want a pistol or something as my, as my secondary to run faster if I needed to. But since I run as fast as possible with the Spectre, there's really no need. Um, in terms of equipment, I'm using the Semtex just because, um, again, since I am moving really fast, in this build, this is like as quick as I can go in this build. The Semtex is better in my opinion just because it will, from the point in which you throw it, it will detonate faster than a frag grenade. Um, and I say that because, you know, oftentimes if you're moving quick and you don't stop running, you don't have time to like cook a, cook a frag grenade uh, and then throw it. You need to just throw it, have it blow up, and then keep moving. Concussion grenades for the same reason, because there are two of them. Um, and I actually have been playing a lot of um, Capture the Flag because I needed to get Marathon Pro. And the tactical insertion was remarkably useful in Capture the Flag. If you're using Marathon, if you're trying to get Marathon Pro, use tactical insertion. Stick it in some out of the way area right by their flag. It's awesome. Uh, obviously, Lightweight Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Marathon Pro are the reasons, uh, are, excuse me, are the, re the things I'm using, and the reason being that I want this to be the fastest moving, fastest killing build that I can really make. Lightweight Pro obviously means I run faster, I take no fall damage. Um, Sleight of Hand Pro allows me to raise my gun up as fast as possible as well as reload incredibly fast. And Marathon Pro allows, my, allows for unlimited sprinting. So um, that's, my, that's my 
that's my Spectre submachine gun build. It's pretty much the same as my AK-74U build. Um, you know, it's nothing super fancy, it's just a nice thing. A grip would work well on the Spectre, a suppressor if you want to move around quickly and not get seen. Um, these are all options, it just depends on your playstyle. Um, I feel the rapid fire because I'm getting good enough where I can make sure that I hit bursts over and over again. I feel the rapid fire just lets me kill faster. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope that it was useful.